smell okay? Oh, hey you guys! Welcome to Vitiligo Week, day number two. So on today's video, we talk about what Vitiligo is, where it comes from, and who and what can get it. Because I'm so busy working on actual comical videos, I'm gonna let my friend Leonard take it from here and explain to you all about Vitiligo. Salutation, my fellow earthly peers, and welcome to Flexing Your Smarticles. On today's episode, we're going to talk all about vitiligo. Fit and little what up? Vitiligo! The best way to know about vitiligo is to start with the definition. Vitiligo is a skin disorder characterized by smooth white patches on various parts of the body that occur due to the loss of pigment. This loss of pigmentation typically starts at the hands, feet, and face, but then can advance to other parts of the body, like your doodle. Sometimes when you have vitiligo on your head, it can turn parts of your hair white as well. Man, I wonder if Gandalf had vitiligo. We'll tend to stare at people with vitiligo because they're unsure if they've gotten burnt or they have some sort of skin infarction. Vitiligo is not physically painful, but it can become emotionally damaging to one's self-esteem. The cause of vitiligo is unknown, but research suggests that it may have come from oxidative stress, genetics, or even viral causes. No, not viral like millions of view viral. Viral like inside bacteria virals. Luckily, some of our great doctors have found ways to reverse the process and turn your skin to its original state. Not all of these processes are promised to work, but I will name a few just so you guys can get a feel of some of the processes people might have to go through once they have vitiligo. Some of the treatments include UVB phototherapy, PUBA phototherapy, transplanting melanocytes, and skin camouflage. Like I said, none of these treatments have been promised to work, but they have worked on a few people. So if you know someone with vitiligo, please don't be rude. They have a heart just like you do, they have a brain just like you do, and they have a body and a soul just like you do. They just have a colorful doodle. Anyone can have vitiligo, no matter what race you are. White, black, Chinese, Korean, Japanese, Pakistani, Indian, orangutan. This has been Leonard with Flexing your smarter calls. Back to you, idiot. All right, you guys, thanks for watching my video for today. Hopefully you didn't get too bored with Leonard over there. If you haven't seen it yet, check out day one of Vitiligo Week right here. And if you guys are looking for a job, hit that subscribe button and you can come work for me. And if you hit that like and that favorite button, you guys will get an extra bonus. Plus, if you guys type a sweet little comment in the bottom section below, you guys will get an extra prize from me to you. I love ya. If I have other videos, be sure to check them out. Be easy, Mike Freezy. What? Vitiligo. Vitiligo. 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 What? Yeah, that's right. We're getting random on this show.